Next in the tank is a product inspired by a creature from the sea. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, sharks. My name is Hans Dos. I'm from Dana Point, California, and I'm here seeking $200,000 in exchange for 10% of my company, Tentacle. As you can see, I love the ocean. I especially love the octopus. With all these tentacles, they could do so many things at once. <laughs> we humans have a big problem. Holding phones while trying to do something else with only two hands. You'll never see an octopus with not enough hands to snap a selfie. <laughs> Currently, these options for humans... Oh my. No! <laughs> oh, <Hans. laughs> only serve a single function. What if we had one portable product that did everything these do? Now we do. Introducing Tentacle, the octopus-inspired suction mount for your tech designed to empower go-getters to do their thing better, totally hands-free. Tentacle does a million things. It works with phones, cameras, tablets. It's your car mount, your bike mount, your speaker mount, and hold your seahorses, even <laughs> a pickle holder. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and just like the octopus, Tentacle is waterproof and super durable. It can even support the weight of a surfboard. Wow. Humans only have two hands. Let's fix that. <laughs> so sharks, what do you say? You jump in with a fellow sea creature like me and make a huge splash in the boring mount industry. I like it. I really, really like it. Thank you. How much do you sell it for and how much does it cost you to make? Sell it for 45. Cost wow. me $6. 45? Wow. Yeah, we're selling it for $45. Uh, we've tried different price points, but it cost me $6.08 currently. Whoa. With that version. Margin nice. nice. City. Wow. Okay, but wait, and how many have you sold? Over 40,000 units to date. Duh! 40,000 units? 1.3 million in sales Woo! a day. Oh, oh, wow. And this Coming is all out the this gate. Guy. Hot. When did you start? How many years ago? So I actually wrote the patent myself in 2015. Wow. I was working at Hurley uh, as a designer. It was really my dream job working in the surf industry. And I, I just had this idea, what if I combined a car mount and a tripod into one? And when I gave the product to friends and family, this crappy prototype that I made, every person had this discovery moment where they were like, oh my God, I can use it for this. Or, hey, I can use it for this. And there's so many use cases for it that I was like, oh, I have to do this, obviously. So at the end of 2017, I launched a Kickstarter. We raised about 172,000 and blew my mind. Wow. And then I thought, oh my God, I have to quit my job. I have to do this. So <laughs> when I do something, I go 110%. I quit my dream job. The product that you see here, generation four. What was wrong with version three? On Amazon, I saw that there were some reviews that were not, we had a 3.7 star review. And I was like, okay, that's still not, and I why? needed that why? five. Why didn't people like it? Honestly, the suction cups. That was the biggest thing. Uh, suction cup geometry is a whole science. What did it cost to go through all these iterations? <sighs> um, well, to be honest, my debt is 270,000 currently. 270,000? Yes. Yes. I know. What a caramba. What is your last year of sales? So last year we did about 478,000 in sales. And what did you do your, last month? Well, your profit on last that. Last month we did about 9,000 in sales. Oh. Not good. What so happened? I want to tell you what happened. So we were doing so well in 2020, despite COVID, so many people were using this product for FaceTiming or Zoom calls. And the year prior, I had run out of product. So this year I freaked out and I ordered a shipping container full. So at cost, it was about 130K. And, and why didn't it sell? Thanksgiving day comes and I ran out of marketing dollars to continue going. My only sales were coming from one channel. That is our website and paying Facebook ads. I was so not going to So how much inventory do you have right now? About $891,000. Wow. At, co wow. at cost. Whoa. At, at cost, but, about $111,000 at cost. But you don't have to really pay for ads necessarily. You could do your own videos, put yeah. them up on, on social I'm media platforms. That. Is this your full-time gig? This is my full-time gig. My wife and I, we work together on this business. And to get out of our debt situation, we moved into an RV. I'm not kidding. An RV on my mom's property in Menifee, California. 
All right, Hans, you're, so it's clear you're all in. Yes. You're all in. If you don't get more capital by ads, yep. you're going to zero. No. That's what I think. No, because you've got $110,000 in inventory. Your yeah. worst case, you're going to flea markets on weekends and demonstrating worst and case. selling them there. How much cash do you have, Hans? I have $39 in the bank. <gasps> oh, you what? What? $39? Yes. How did you get here? No. I have just enough to get home. How are you going to get back? No. 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 How that? You're going to have to I sell your flippers. Money. These would be worth a lot, actually. Yeah, you're right. Well, Hans, let me look at it this way. One saving aspect to this is the product's pretty good. It's amazing. Really good. Fundamentally, I can't criticize the product, and I can't criticize you. You're a good guy. Thank you. I, I get it. You need to get capital. I it's, love it's, you, dude. It's, it's not a secret. <laughs> no, I listen. And that's I, the first also. In the end, I don't need another job. It's not a situation I want to put myself into. I wish you the best. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So I think it's a good product. I think you're in a very crowded space. It's just not the right investment for me okay. at this time. I wish you good luck, but I'm not. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. I can make it happen. I know I can. Yeah, I incurred some debt along the way, but it's serviceable. Our, my monthly payments are about three grand a month. Three grand isn't a lot, but it is when you got $39 in cash. You know, so often on Shark Tank, we have to peel the onion so deep to get the truth. And you just came out here and buried your soul. I appreciate that. I think you need a reboot. So I'm, I'm gonna make you an offer. You owe total debt 270,000, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I will give you 270,000. We pay off the existing debt to everyone. Okay. And basically that brings the company back to ground zero. Yeah. I will then give you an additional 100,000 to seed the new company. Here's the catch though. I own 60, you own 40. Oh! No. Here's the caveat, Yowza. though. Oh. Here, here's the caveat. You're going to have to bring in real partners who are going to run the business. Bad idea. The next Ooh. partner we bring in is another Hans who has the level of experience, has the experience in this area, and whatever equity we need to give them, it'll come out of my 60%. Well, that's interesting. All right, Hans, let me, you know, let me tell you why I think yeah. my fellow sharks are tucking and rolling out of this deal. Because of your vulnerability mm -hmm. to say you only have $39, right? And <laughs> a lot of people come on here and they, they act like everything's all great. So I say, well, yeah. why are you here? But on the flip side, I get it. You know, when I had turned my mother's house into a factory, I took a $100,000 loan. It was the biggest and the largest amount of pressure I ever had in my life. Yeah. Three months later, I turned around and I only had $500 in the bank. I was three months later on the mortgage. Right, I was paying for raw goods 90 days ahead of time. I was paying for a staff and salaries and my accounts receivables. They wouldn't pay me for 30, 60, 90 days. Yeah. And it was this moment in my life where my mother came home and said, I'm gonna take an ad out in the newspaper. I said, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. She took out an ad. Million dollars in orders need financing. I got 33 offers the next day. Wow. 30 of them were loan sharks and people like yeah. Kevin O'Leary. You're lucky I was there for you, Damon. <laughs> One was Samsung's textile division and my, my mentors now, and they believed in me. Yeah. I had nothing, zero. Yeah. I believe in you, but it's gonna be expensive because this is such high risk. Yeah. But I'm gonna offer you the $200,000 for one third. One third. 33, 33 and a third. Okay, 33%. And no, 33 and a third. Let's make it let's make it an even 30. I know you know my back's up against the wall, but that's not the Well, purpose. at least you were honest that's about not it. I'm not trying to put your back's up against the wall, but I'm putting money risk. at risk. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Um, and actually that's not a bad offer, all things considered. It's better yep. than I would have done. I'm out. Okay. Thank you, Mark. You have an offer from Robert and you have an offer from Damon. Damon's offer is legit. Well, my offer is legit, Mark. No, it isn't, Robert. Robert, it is a legitimate offer, and I really appreciate your offer. It would just break my heart for how much I put into it, and for those reasons, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been always wanting yeah. to say that? No! I've been wanting to say that forever! <laughs> you had to give it on. You had to do it. You had to give it on. Honestly, all right, well, listen, Damon. I'm, 
This is a moment right here, dude. We're good. It is. Yeah, dude. I like this. Damon, what would you feel about 25% for the 200K? I feel 30 sounds really good. I know it sounds tasty, but really, that's 30. 25, you came down from 33 and a third. Yeah, remember, I went to 33. I'm, I went back I to 30. I know you did. Yeah, dude, I think we could do a killing together. I think you can open up a ton of doors, and I can execute. I know I can execute. What's your best counter? 25 percent is my best counter offer. I, I, I love it. I think I will take it at 30. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard, man. Ah. Uh... <sighs> Let's do it. Yeah! 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 <laughs> I like the counter. All right.